Live here outside of uh, Jacksonville, the uh, stadium they call the Bank. You can see behind me the uh, Georgia cheerleaders, the uh, Red Coat Band in place here as well. In just a couple of moments, the dog walk will take place. Georgia will be walking just behind me here, entering the uh, stadium here in Jacksonville. And after that, it's Georgia versus Florida, the game that's for a long time been known as the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. And this afternoon's renewal of this great rivalry going to be one of the uh, most memorable, certainly in a, a number of years. It's the first time both these teams have entered uh, ranked since 2012, and you have to go all the way back to 2008 to find a game in which both Georgia and Florida were also ranked in the top ten the way they'll play a little bit later on today. My name is Brandon Adams. This is our Kroger kickoff here. It's great to have you with us. Of course, we'll take some of your questions and comments here over the course of the next couple of minutes as well before we get ready to see the uh, Georgia team enter the uh, field here today. And obviously there are so many questions centering around what's going to happen when these two teams go at it, with Georgia here in particular. Of course, we all know that the last time Georgia played was not the uh, best performance of the uh, Dogs for the 2018 season. Offense sputters a uh, little bit um, against LSU. Some questions being asked about what Georgia needs to do differently today. One of the things a lot of Georgia fans are hoping for, more of the uh, running game particularly led by Elijah Holyfield, who seemed to have uh, some real opportunities against LSU, but maybe not as many carries some Georgia fans would have liked. That's one of the corrections that Georgia fans would like to see made today. The other thing to uh, think about here is what's going to happen to the quarterbacks with Jake Fromm and Justin Fields. As it stands now, that has been one of the most intense debates that has raged over the course of the last couple of weeks. Kirby Smart appeared on uh, College Game Day this morning. The ESPN show was live outside the stadium at 9 a.m., when Smart was on the show, he played it coy the way that he has for most of the time here, suggesting that he thinks that Jake Fromm may play well. Most Georgia fans would agree. But also suggesting that uh, Justin Fields may also get his opportunity as Fields continues to grow, mature, and develop during practice. That's certainly something that Georgia fans are hopeful for. There's also the issue for Georgia to deal with here on defense as well. We've seen Georgia a couple of times this season not be stout against the run. That was one of the hallmarks of the Bulldogs a year ago. The suggestion from many has been that one of the areas in which Georgia misses some of its departed talent from the 2017 team may be on defense in particular, where the presence of John Atkins, the absence of Roquan Smith, maybe even outside linebackers like Lorenzo Carter and Davin Bellamy have made stopping the run a little more difficult. That was certainly true uh, against Missouri and Vanderbilt, even more true against LSU, where LSU went well north of 200 yards in the game. If today, though, that Georgia can find a way either through better scheme, better personnel, or just bowing its back and, you know, playing a tough brand of football, if it can take away the Gators running threat, obviously the opportunity exists to make the game more about Florida quarterback Felipe Franks. Given Franks' somewhat erratic play, that would seem to be a recipe for success for uh, Georgia a little bit later on. It's great to have you with us here on our Kroger kickoff. My name is Brandon Adams. Of course, you're going to want to check out your Atlanta area Kroger here this week as we head towards uh, Halloween. Big time savings at the uh, Kroger near you, whether it be on the uh, candy that you buy for the trick-or-treaters, the cupcakes and cookies for your own Halloween party, or decorations, everything in between. Check out your local Atlanta uh, Kroger on that. Also, uh, as this week gets ready to wind down, don't forget there are some buy one, get one free sales going on at your local Kroger as well. You're going to want to check that out and try Kroger Ship if you have not done so already and get those uh, groceries and those everyday essential items that you need delivered right there to your doorstep and special savings on your first order as well. Hope you check that out. As I'm talking here, um, we want to uh, jump in here and uh, get some, uh, a few comments on our uh, Facebook and our YouTube page. We will uh, let you react to what you're thinking about the game here before the uh, dogs get ready to make their, in, uh, make their way into the stadium. Obviously, that's always a big part of our Kroger kickoff a uh, chance for you to reflect on what you're thinking about the uh, Georgia-Florida game a little bit later on this afternoon. As I pull those comments up, let me also remind you that don't forget after the game, we'll also be with you here for our uh, Northside Hospital postgame show. On the field, immediately when the game's over, myself and Dog Nation's recruiting insider Jeff Sintel, we will react to uh, what's happening in this game. We'll uh, talk about that live with you coming up a little bit later on this afternoon once Georgia-Florida is over from inside the uh, uh, stadium in uh, Jacksonville here today. I'm going to pull up the uh, Facebook comments. We'll get, get ready to get rolling on that. I'll also remind you to make sure you check out DogNation.com here today where Dog Nation's Mike Griffith and Chip Towers have plenty of coverage coming up from everything that's going on uh, in the uh, game today. Uh, Mike and uh, Chip all over everything there. And if you haven't tried the forum yet, at forum.dognation.com, what a great way to enjoy the uh, in-game atmosphere that's uh, going on comments, real-time analysis, 
Jeff Centel's in there. I'm reacting and posting a lot. Our buddy Connor Riley in there as well. A lot going on well, with that, and you'll be able to check that out. I am going to pull the uh, comments up here. My uh, phone's moving just a little bit slow. So I'll, uh, I'll be uh, getting those opened up, and we'll be getting ready to take some uh, comments here, and we'll get some of your reaction here as the uh, dog wall gets ready to uh, roll on. We should only be about five minutes away from the uh, dog walks beginning here on our uh, Kroger kickoff, so we'll look forward to seeing George when they make their way in in uh, just a moment here, and uh, we are looking forward to uh, getting some uh, comments rolling up. As you might imagine, some of the uh, cell phone service is a little spotty here around the uh, stadium, so obviously uh, we'll take some comments here. We'll react to that. You'll get a chance to see Georgia coming in, and one of the things I think is going to be really interesting to see once we do see Georgia start to uh, make its way into the uh, stadium here is the look on their face. For a lot of these players, it's their first time coming across that heart bridge, coming into what is that uh, rock, a sea of uh, tailgaters. It's the uh, first time to see a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, is it the uh, look of happiness and smiles? Is it the high fives? Are they looking for children to uh, give a hug to, give a handshake to? Is it that focused intensity, that, that, that grimacing face? I is that what we're going to see a lot of? I think that's always a very interesting thing to uh, see. Uh, something else would be a very interesting thing to see would be uh, the comments. As it stands right now, that's not something I'm getting a, a lot of here. So uh, I'll try those back again in just a moment. You do hear some cheers starting to roar through. Could be that the dog walk is getting ready to begin. Thanks so much for being with us as part of our Kroger kickoff. I want to step off. You'll get a chance to see the uh, Georgia players as they make their way in, Georgia coaches as they make their way in as well. In fact, coming through right now, the leader of the pack here coming through with his headphones on his uh, neck, suit and tie on, being led by security. How about Georgia coach Kirby Smart on his way into the stadium here at Jacksonville for Georgia versus Florida, a game that he won as a player back in 1997 and a game that he hopes to win again as a coach here in uh, 2018. And now Georgia on its way in. A lot of big-time players. I see Charlie Warner starting to walk by here. The first collection of Georgia players start to make their way through here on the uh, dog walk as the unmistakable uh, fight song plays. One of the very first Georgia players to come through, stepping just behind Mel Tucker here, is Georgia quarterback Justin Fields. Obviously, a lot of folks want to know how big of a part of this game Fields is going to be. He's one of the first Georgia players into the stadium here. Jim Chaney, Dell McGee, Cade Mays coming walking by. Andrew Thomas walking by. There's Jake Fromm as well getting a huge ovation from the thousands of Georgia fans who've gathered around the uh, stadium here. You also saw plenty of other Georgia coaches coming by a moment ago. Uh, Georgia players continue to uh, file their way through here. Great looking suits and ties here. A well-dressed collection of uh, dogs starting to uh, move their way through here. I see Jonathan Ledbetter oftentimes wearing those spectacles today, also uh, wearing a little bit of a shaded spectacle. There's Georgia offensive line coach Sam Pittman coming through. Georgia running back Brian Herrien going over to give a hug to uh, his mother in the, uh, in the uh, collection of Georgia fans. Here comes Georgia kicker Rodrigo Blankenship. A very natalie attired Julian Rochester, one of those big defensive linemen who hopes to get a chance to uh, stop that Florida running game today. I see Georgia wide receiver Trey Blunt coming through. Georgia continues to uh, file their way through here. The uh, Kroger kickoff continues here just outside the stadium in Jacksonville as Georgia makes his way through here for a well-attended dog walk. Georgia players and coaches soaking in the moment here, loving the uh, reception they're getting from the uh, fans in attendance and the atmosphere that's outside the stadium. You can only imagine how big it's going to be inside the stadium. Good to see Malik Herring making his way through here. Justin Schaefer walks by a moment ago. There's uh, one of the uh, elite 2018 signees, Adam Anderson, coming in. Anderson, the guy that Georgia fans are expecting big things from in the years to come. He makes his way into the stadium here. There's D'Angelo Gibbs, always among the best-dressed players. Gibbs, uh, once again, making good on that promise here. And George is about to make its way through here for the uh, dog walk. We certainly appreciate you being a part of our Kroger kickoff here. Big time collection of uh, ovations, big time collection of fans on hand. The Georgia cheerleaders having a great time here, setting the mood for the day. A, uh, a Georgia Redcoat pep band here with the uh, fight song. 
So an incredible atmosphere here outside the stadium in Jacksonville for the uh, dog walk here. It's all a part of our Kroger kickoff. Don't forget, check out Kroger as we get to ready towards uh, Halloween next week and for the uh, big uh, football party that you may be having today. The best way to get those essential items is right there at Kroger and a lot of buy one, get one savings here this week. We've got more Kroger kickoff coverage to come from Jacksonville, the Dog Nation video channels. We hope to be inside the stadium in just a couple of minutes back live with a look at the uh, warm-ups between Georgia and Florida. The big one here, the one on Dog Nation daily, we say matters for Georgia fans or should matter for Georgia fans more than any other. Uh, we believe that good Georgia fans are Gator haters first and foremost, and there's no doubt thousands of Gator haters already surrounding the stadium, making their plans to get on inside there, create a huge atmosphere. We hope it's a, a big win for the Georgia Bulldogs. We'll bring you more Kruger kickoff coverage in a moment from inside the stadium, and then make sure you tune in after the game for our Northside Hospital postgame show. My name is Brandon Adams. Thanks for being a part of our Kruger kickoff. We'll look forward to seeing you inside the stadium in just a few minutes.